So tonight we're going to take a look at fixing your fire stick. Yes, that may sound a little bit vague, but we come across lots of problems, lots of issues, lots of questions, and we're going to try and run through some of those. So do try and watch through till the end, because right at the end there's the ultimate fix. So you do not have to bin your fire stick. You don't have to throw it away and get a new one unless you want to upgrade. This is here so we can try and fix some of those common issues you may be having. OK, before we do that, though, if you can and you're new here, do remember to hit that subscribe button. Check out the channel. We have tons of videos. So if you don't get the help you need on this video throughout the channel, you will probably find the help you are after. And we have tons of videos and install guides, everything you may need. OK, so there's a few common issues a lot of people have. Um, you get things like buffering, storage issues, uh, your fire stick itself lagging and running slow. First one we're going to have a little look at is storage, which also can contribute to uh, your device lagging as well. So let's get to your settings. And let's have a little look in applications. And as you go over manage installed applications, you will see the storage here, internal space on the side. We're not going to add any extra space, but a lot of people end up with no space left. And it's saying you cannot install anything else. You can't do anything. Please clear some memory. It's full up. And they look in their applications and they don't actually have a lot in there. So how do we clear up some space? OK, so personally, I recommend you have at least one gigabyte spare on your device if you can. At most, maybe 800 megabytes, mainly because you need a little bit of spare space. So if you stream something, because these are streaming devices, when you stream, you have to download some of that movie onto your device to watch, and then it deletes itself, like a temporary folder. So you download it, you watch it, and it deletes, and it keeps rolling. And if these files are big files, you need some space to download it. If you're streaming big 4K files with big audio files on them, you need enough space for that to download so you can watch it and continue. Um, so you want to keep a bit of space. And you look in here and you think, well, I haven't really got much in here to delete. So what's the issue? Well, a lot of people, they download a lot of applications from an app called Downloader. Okay. So in their Downloader, they download a lot of apps and they install the file, close Downloader, and on they go and they use their applications. But what they do in this file section is where a your files download to and this needs to be empty so if you are struggling for space go to this file section and delete everything in there and then go back to your um, device and see how much space you have these are just apk files they're the install folders you do not need it once you've installed the application so delete everything in this file section you do not need it anymore okay that will clear up the space you require okay next up you may find your device is running a bit slow, running a bit laggy. Um, an app we've used many times, and um, we're going to do this one as a repeat now before we do a couple of new ideas, is the background apps and processes list. And I need your help on this one. So first I'm going to show you how to install it. So go to your search bar, type in background, and you, you will see pop up underneath background apps and process list. Click that and get it installed. This application is free. Let me move my head out of the way on this one. This is a free application. So once it's installed, get it open. And what this will do is tell you every single application which is running in the background on your device. As you see there, I have 15 apps running. 15. Which is crazy because I haven't used any of these applications today. Um, the only application I've used today is IP Vanish because um, obviously I have my VPN running and Downloader because um, we just used it, didn't we? So what you want to do, you can go to close all apps. OK, so you click on close all apps and what it will do is load these apps up one by one. You can push the four stop button and then you push the back button on your right and it'll bring you the next one. And you can go through all of these and close the ones you want closed. So they're not running in the background, using up your resources. This one I will not close because I want my VPN running. So I just push the back button. My five I've not used in God knows how long. And you can just four stop all of these. This stops your device using so much resources and also stops your device having stuff running in the background so it will run a lot quicker and a lot smoother for you and that's a nice and easy one i almost recommend doing that one every time you boot up your device okay next up an issue a lot of people have is their device runs a little bit slow and the reason for that is because you haven't actually powered it off for a long time um, you shouldn't power it off all the time but once a week once every couple of weeks when it starts to run a little bit laggy it's worth restarting your device run a restart and to run a restart, the best way to do that is to go to your settings, go to My Fire TV, and in here you've got the restart. Okay, You can push restart and restart your device. 
and that will reboot it straight through and you have a fresh restart and then your device should be running a little bit better. Perfect. Okay, another quick tip if your device isn't quite running right, maybe you're missing some icons on your device, something's not working correctly, go to your settings, go to My Fire TV and then click on About and check for updates. It is very important to make sure that your device is up to date. I don't care what other people say about blocking updates, um, Amazon are going to do this, Amazon are going to do that. Amazon want your device working at its best. It is great for them if your device works perfectly because you will continue to use your device. If it doesn't work perfectly, they're gonna, you're going to change it, you're going to buy something new. So they want it to work perfect. So they will push updates to make it work better. They will push updates to make it more secure and security updates. So always check for updates and make sure yours is up to date. As you see, I keep mine up to date at all times. Okay, next one and the big one. If all of those tips don't work and your device just is not doing what you want to do and you're thinking of chucking it out the window, you're thinking of buying a brand new device, try this one first. So we go to settings, we hit My Fire TV, in here we go right to the bottom and this is your last resort, you reset the factory defaults. This one will reboot everything, start it from when you bought it. This will remove everything, so whatever's broken your device, if it used to work perfectly and now it doesn't, whatever is breaking that device, resetting it to factory defaults will fix that. As simple as that that will go back to basics for you start over again reboot everything and just be careful what you install if you install apps do it one at a time and if suddenly when you install an app everything stops working get rid of that app and then by elimination process you will realize what broke your fire stick in the first place and what broke your fire tv sound good perfect obviously we do recommend if you're using your fire stick quick word from one of our partners do use yourself a VPN. It's very good to use a VPN. This will help you keep safe online. This will block you from any security risks online. This is what it's about, and it will protect you while you're online. The whole idea of this is protect your Fire TV stick traffic. Simple online safety. Surf the web without a trace. This is encrypted every internet connection for you. So that is linked underneath. These are a partner of ours, and they do give us a small commission. So if you are after a VPN, that is also linked directly underneath for you. And if that video did help, do remember to give us a comment, give us a like, and do give us a follow if you're brand new here. If that video didn't help, come and check out the channel, because I guarantee you'll find one on here which does, from VPNs to fire sticks to security menus to secret menus to setup guides to install guides to even putting all your favorite apps on there. You'll find it all on this channel. We've got 561,000 of you. All my other socials are linked underneath as well. Go follow them, and I'll see you on the next one.